my entire family has now been vaccinated. Both my sisters, my brother-in-laws, my um, husband's brothers with NOPD, and I kept telling him, too, you have got to get your vaccine. So he went yesterday. So I made it my mission to make sure no one has to suck this way. You know, I have, I can't say what my choices would have been different. I'm very blessed and thankful to God that I was able to get through cancer, and now through COVID, you know, despite the issues I had with the vaccine, but everyone needs to be vaccinated. We will never beat this any other way. And I actually saw a really good, um, and I shared it with my daughters, it was a, someone with LSU, and it was a really good discussion on people think that they just drummed up this RNA technology, the COVID vaccine, and she compared it to an Olympic athlete, which I guess is appropriate. She said Olympians train for years and years. They don't just jump on the track and decide they're going to throw a javelin and win. She said we've worked with this RNA technology for years and years and years, and we are so proud that we have been able at a time like this to make it successful. And I think that's the story we need to share with people. You don't want to end up this way. This is the scariest I've ever been in my whole life. You take breathing for granted. You know, I'm a duck hunter. It's funny, but I duck hunt, I deer hunt, and my kids laugh because this was also not my weight loss plan, but my waders get tight in the winter because I love to eat, and I'll struggle through the mud and get short of breath, and they always laugh at me, but it comes right back. You know, I exercise, I get short of breath, you sit down for a minute, you feel better. But when you sit down and you can get air in your lungs and you sit in the back of an ambulance with a BiPAP on and you know what it's all about and you know what an intubation looks like, that is so fearful. I don't want anyone to ever have to feel that way.